A few months ago, we first reported about teenagers experiencing a rare heart disease after getting their second dose of a COVID vaccine. At that time, just two local teens reported chest pain and were diagnosed with post-vaccine myocarditis. Since then, four more teens have been diagnosed. Our Tessa DeTiro checked back in with a doctor who worked with those teenagers, got an update on how the recovery is going. Dr. Rosemary Olivero remembers the first teen she treated at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital with post-vaccine myocarditis. Five teenagers after that, a total of five boys and one girl, had the inflammatory heart disease. Within a couple days of getting their second vaccine, they have come in with your typical vaccine side effects, which can include fever, fatigue, achy muscles, but then pain in the chest. Um, and then one patient actually had pain that went down their arm. Luckily, none of these teens were extremely ill. They were treated in the hospital with ibuprofen and released. All of different places, all different school districts from a pretty large geography. So none of them had any you know, similarities, except you know, obviously five of them are males, one was a female, um, but none of them really had any other underlying issues that were similar between them. I think they've actually taken it in stride quite a bit. And actually all the families that I've encountered said, you know, I wouldn't do anything differently. For months after though, sports and tough physical activities had to be stopped. If you're a teen athlete and then you hear you know, I can't exercise for three months. That can be like earth shattering. You know, some of our earliest uh, teens who even were athletes have actually resumed their um, athletic careers and, and they're doing pretty well, but they do need to still be followed by cardiology again, because we just don't know what that long term effect might be. Today, the teens are still being monitored by cardiologists. And although this is rare, Dr. Olivero says she understands why these kinds of cases leave folks questioning. Her advice? Talk to your doctor. We can help boil down this really confusing information, hopefully into actionable, um, actionable information for families. The risk of the vaccine are far fewer than the risks of getting actual natural COVID um, itself. That was Artessa DiTiro reporting. The CDC says this disease is rare, occurring once in every 100,000 vaccine doses and is most common in teenage boys. As for cases of myocarditis after the vaccine in those 18 and older, there have been no cases admitted into the Spectrum Health System.